Welcome to Lesson 2, Main Menu Introduction of the Getting Started series. In this video, we will briefly explore the Main Menu. Think of the Main Menu as Mission Control, where you will launch the various modules. Some of these modules and commands can be launched from other locations in the software, but some, like modeling and utility functions, are restricted to the Main Menu only. Before I begin, it is very important that you do not run SDS2 as an administrator. This can cause locking problems since all the stations may not have administrator privileges, making files inaccessible. Also, you want to make SDS2 exempt from the virus scan. Since SDS2 is constantly accessing the hard drive in the model, if the files are constantly being scanned for viruses, SDS2 will run slowly. Each section on the main menu is grouped. The buttons on the left roughly follow the detailing workflow. Change creates a new project or opens another project. Modeling, which we saw in Lesson 1, opens a 3D model, which is a central database controlled by the setup. Processing creates solids is a combination of two commands that are under the process and design framing heading. Processing creates solids, in short, gathers all the setup and member information and then designs the connections, checks framing situations, assigns piece marks, and then creates the 3D solid material from the derived data. Detail members generates the members 2D. As for the other 2D item generation, this is located under the detailing heading. Drawing Editor opens the 2D editing module. This can also be launched from the modeling module using the Show Detail and Show Sheet commands. Documentation will launch a wealth of topical information about SDS2. For example, if you open the topics, you will see various useful guides such as Detailing Step-by-Step -step and Connection Guide. At the bottom right, you will also see the Help button. Nearly every screen in SDS2, aside from the few prompt and warning screens, has a Help button which will bring you directly to the information that pertains to that window. For example, when I hit the Help button on the main menu, we see a picture of the screen with hyperlinks, which will open information about the selected link. For windows with tabs like User Options, we can see the tabs in the Help menu. Even though the Help information is written in HTML and opens in a browser, you do not need to have an internet connection since the data is self-contained in SDS2. Input Output Heading contains tools that allow users to perform operations that communicate information to other persons or software. If the text is grayed out, this means that the tool is disabled and requires a purchase of that module. Reports allows you to run as well as create your own reports. Miscellaneous Options is just that, commands that are located in the Modeling and Drawing Editor module but are also accessible from the main menu. One exception is parametric modeling which opens its own separate module. Setup Utility contains a variety of useful tools. User Options configures how you react with the system, for example, setting backgrounds and file destinations. The ever important Setup Options is the brains behind the model and the drawing output. Job Properties opens up the project data input such as location and parties involved in the project. Material File Editor this section will show you the section properties of the standard material. Utility Functions is a toolbox of operations ranging from copy and deleting commands to tools that fix broken projects. The related programs will be discontinued after version 7.2, but this allows the user to change the various different programs created by Design Data from the main menu. This will conclude our brief look at the main menu.